Hi everyone. Hope you are all having a beautiful, blessed day. Exactly a year after our first trip to Global Vision Bible Church, our second trip to Global Vision became a reality this past month of April 2023. I thank the Lord for providing our free reservations at a beautiful resort in Nashville, Tennessee, which was a gift to us by some dear friends of ours. My family and I began watching the Global Vision Bible Church services since August 15th of 2021, when Pastor Greg Locke preached a message entitled, Go Forward. Ever since then, Jesus has been pushing us forward more and more in our walk with Him. My hubby and I have been Christians for many years. I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior and got baptized for the forgiveness of my sins on February 15, 1978. My hubby became a Christian in 1981 through a Bible study he and his mom and other family members received in their home. To God be all the honor and glory for giving me the privilege and blessing of teaching them that Bible study, wherein a few months later, my husband, Luis, at that time, he was a friend. I had no idea that Luis would become my husband in the future. But after a few months of completing that Bible study, Luis, his mom, his sister, his aunt, and a cousin they all decided to get baptized and began their new life in Christ. Getting back to how we connected with Pastor Greg Locke, I believe one of the first videos I ever came across on Facebook of Pastor Greg was when he spoke about the non-gender restrooms at Target, which was back in 2015. My family and I are originally from California. On July 1st, 2016, we received the most devastating heartbreaking news any parent could ever receive. It was the news that our firstborn child, our son of 28 and a half years of age, had died. Prior to our son's death, my family and I had talked about eventually moving to Spokane, Washington. A year after our son passed away, the Lord prompted us to make that move out of California in September of 2017. It was a blessing to live in the beautiful city of Spokane. And best of all, we attended some grief share classes, which the Lord brought great healing through those classes to our hearts during our grieving process. We loved all the green trees and beautiful nature in Washington. And in hindsight, thinking about it, maybe instead of moving to Washington State then, we could have just moved directly to beautiful Tennessee. The Lord knows I am not exaggerating when I say that we have learned so much more from God's holy word in the past almost two years this August. We've learned so much than we ever have through the years of being believers. I will interject that my husband and I will forever be thankful to our former pastor of over 28 years, Pastor Eduardo El Macian, who taught us so much. He and his lovely wife, Sister Kathy El Macian, both ministered to our lives in so many areas of our spiritual growth. We thank the Lord and we thank them for their love and all the blessings that were bestowed on our lives under their ministry. Through Pastor Greg Locke, it's like if the Lord has opened our spiritual lives wide open. Our hearts are full of gratitude to our Lord Jesus Christ for leading us to watch Global Vision Bible Church services. So back in the fall of 2022, I kept saying to my hubby every time we'd watch the GVBC service, I kept saying to him that we needed to return to Global Vision Bible Church as soon as possible. But his response was, it's too soon. We just went there in April, and which was true. But the Lord knew the desire of my heart. And by January 31st of this year of 2023, I believe Jesus gave me a dream where I saw my family and I at GVBC again. So that morning, 
after waking up, I shared that dream with my daughter. And I called a dear friend of ours and shared the dream with her. And she said, you guys should go to Tennessee. What's stopping you? And I told her that we weren't quite ready for the trip expense. And to make a long story short, she said, let me call you back in a little bit. When she called back, she and her husband had already made our reservations and gifted us with a two-week stay in a beautiful resort in Nashville. It's amazing how God works to bless his children. So praise God, our second trip to Mount Juliet began on April 3rd. We arrived safely there on Wednesday, April 5th, and attended the Global Vision Wednesday night service that evening. We purposed in our heart to try and attend as many services or group meetings as possible. After also attending the Beyond the Veil marriage group on Thursday and on Friday, we also went to the Global Vision Friday night fellowship meeting. Additionally, we were also blessed to attend the 55 plus group and we were greatly blessed at that meeting to hear Brother Jeffrey Jocelyn's testimony. Wow, everything we attended was a huge blessing. On Saturday, the first Saturday that we were there, we took an all day break to rest and be fresh for our return to GVBC the following day so that we could attend the Resurrection Sunday service and also the evening deliverance service. After our two-week visit at GVBC and having attended two deliverance services, upon returning home, I realized the following changes in me. The first thing I discovered was that the Lord healed me of lactose intolerance. For over five years, I had been taking these lactate pills whenever I ate anything dairy. When we got home, we ate pizza and I decided not to take the lactate pills to test my digestive system. During one of the deliverance services, Pastor Greg shared how the Lord healed his wife of lactose intolerance. And when he asked us in the deliverance service to denounce the spirit of lactose intolerance, I denounced it and proclaimed my healing in Jesus' name. I purposely didn't share with my family that I hadn't taken the lactate pills before eating pizza, and I waited and I was fine the rest of the evening, and having been able to eat dairy products with no reactionary symptoms since. Praise Jesus. I thank Him for my complete healing. Another thing God healed are my knees. Pastor Greg explained that it is important to first cast out the spirit of infirmity and then cast specific spirits of various illnesses out. After deliverance service, the following morning, I got up and I was walking around our hotel like nothing. No pain in my knees. Praise Jesus. I'm not sure if any of the GVBC family saw me during church service when some women started marching around the church and inviting others to join the train of victory. Well, at that moment, I joined in and I was joyously marching around the tent with them also, praising the Lord. God is good and I feel like Jesus has given me a second chance in life. He healed me so that nothing can stop me from walking around my neighborhood to tell people about Jesus. Plus, truly, this is a miracle healing on my knees because for Mother's Day, I got myself a stationary bike, which I had never been able to try because of the pain in my knees. But praise God, I am now riding it every day. Thirdly, Jesus set me free of the spirit of religion. My daughter and hubby, prior to us visiting GVBC in 2022, they would often get on my case because they'd tell me I was being too religious and legalistic. Wow, they'd surprise me when they'd stop me in my tracks so that I could reflect and really analyze my way of thinking. Jesus came to set the captives free. And I can now say he has also set me free of all religiosity. 
So many religious hindering spirits would bring on all types of guilt upon me often, but now I am living free in the love and grace that Jesus has abundantly given me. Another area that my family has noticed about me is that the Lord has given me boldness whenever he gives me the opportunity to pray for people. Upon returning from GVBC, a couple days later, my family and I had to travel to California because of the passing of my brother-in-law. At the funeral, some of the, the members of the Global Vision online group may recall that I posted a prayer request so that the Lord would help me speak what the Holy Spirit wanted me to say. Well, it turned out that they didn't have a speaker or anyone prepared to share words of condolence for the family. I first of all thank God and those of you who prayed for me. After I spoke, when we returned to the hotel, I broke down and cried in gratitude to my Jesus for giving me the words and scriptures to say to the people. I cried because it was a beautiful experience to see how the Holy Spirit just flowed through me, giving me the message I should deliver to the point that I led the audience to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I know that some people hearing this might take it as though I'm boasting of what I did, but that is not the case. I only share this to let you know that I've never been a person that felt comfortable speaking in front of an audience, but God showed up. My hubby and daughter were sitting near the back of the funeral home, and they tell me they could hear some people repeating the prayer after me who were receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and I too could hear some other people in the front repeating the prayer. This just brought so much joy to my heart, and I give all the praise and honor to my Lord Jesus and all the credit to Him. Because like his word says, we can do nothing without him. In fact, we are nothing without Jesus. So that was another experience where I could see the power of the Holy Spirit working through me. And I just praise Jesus. Just sharing this with you brings me to tears. God is good. I've been set free of the spirit of hoarding also. Upon returning home, we have been going through cabinets, closets, and all of our home to get rid of stuff we don't need. I know I learned this hoarding from my upbringing, but no more. I am free indeed. Lastly, I must share with you that although I've been a Christian for a little over 45 years, I must confess that I had only read the complete Bible from Genesis to Revelation only once. Upon returning home from our first trip to GVBC in 2022, my sweet daughter unknowingly kind of put me to shame one evening when she was sharing with me that she was already on her third round of reading the Bible daily from beginning to end. Imagine that. I know without a doubt that God used my daughter to bring conviction to my heart about once again getting into the daily reading of God's Word. The Holy Spirit reminded me of the importance of feeding my spirit with the Holy Word of God. And through everything He is doing in my life, I know Jesus has taken me back to my first love. I encourage everyone to get into the Word of God, the Bible, on a daily basis and watch what happens. I pray that what I've shared here in part two of my deliverance testimony will be a blessing to whomever listens to it. May the Lord bless you all abundantly. And if you're not following Jesus, I encourage you, especially in these days that we are living, I greatly encourage you to draw near to God. Pray and surrender your life and your heart to Jesus and let him guide your way through life and watch what happens. I love you all.